Welcome back to turn 11 of Concrete Hell. Uh, it's been a couple of days since we got a turn back, so I actually have to remember what's going on. In the last turn... Yeah, or the turn before, we saw loads of chap stuff just pop up over here, didn't we? Uh, another casualty this turn, if I remember, which still freaks me out. Uh, the mortars are probably going to do some good work over here. Uh, this may be putting Chap off from pushing on Alpha. Let's turn these objectives on. Uh, Atlas here is hopefully going to keep shooting through that gap and we'll get some more hits in on these guys in here um, with any luck into the trees here. And hopefully Sir Sandstorm uh, is going to be able to see something over here and oh he doesn't have the target arc on so he might put some shots out uh, we'll we'll see so yeah I think we're just gonna have to press go and see how this one uh, pans out it could be that we're seeing you know chap is advancing uh, on each of the front three objectives and he hasn't had any um, uh, at Alpha, he's got a bloody nose. At Bravo, he knows he's been shot up. Uh, he's taken a casualty. He knows there's forces in Charlie, but actually crossing this area, the big fields outside Charlie, he's not actually having any... Uh, not getting shot at particularly, so... Uh, maybe he's going to focus on what might appear to be a weak point. Uh, and if he does, we should be able to spot that coming and then reorientate the QRF, bring them down here. Uh, reorientate uh, second platoon, bring them to this side of Bravo. You know, all all this stuff. He's running out of time. Uh, but yep, let's uh, let's go. Aha! Yes, he did bring some mortars or artillery. That's the Mark 19 again. And plenty of small arms fire. Looks like they might have spotted Sir Samstorm there. Oh, casualty up in, I think that's Roland's squad. And, yep, Sir Samstorm getting filled in down there. And looks like it might be popping a bit of smoke. That's the second Bradley has just popped up there. I wonder who can see that. But it's gone now. Oh, that's uh, Storm Commando getting... I'll figure out if those are mortars. Right, so stuff happened, and um, Chap is getting onto the bloodboard a bit. So good for him. Uh, let's check out what happened over here. So, we get some fire out. This is at uh, Storm Commando's previous position on the roof, because he put, took some pot shots. These look like... Uh, that's just a random... 40 mil grenade, isn't it? So it is. Yeah, that's a, so so Samson taking some pot shots at these guys. That looks like a fire team, or maybe just some scouts moving forward. Uh, but you know, Chap has a lot of Overwatch out there. Just love his infantry. Yeah, so Stamson got a little bit lightly wounded there. Oh, and we've got some infantry there. You can see them. Is that is that Clockwork Rex? Yes, of course it is. Seriously, he's like man of the match. So yeah, it looks like um, Chap might be expanding his options or pushing towards Charlie instead of Alpha. Uh, James taking some pot shots at those guys. Just means that they're going to start shooting back. It sounded like somebody having a bad time. Oh, yeah, the Storm Commando is out of the fight. So, yeah, let's have a look at this, this stuff here. So, 
Uh, let's check that angle. That was quite steep, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think they're 1.5s. Though they might be between by the craters. So yeah, some smoke there. That's always a good indication. Uh, and I don't know if that Mark 19 fire... Uh, if we look at that again. Coming in. I don't know whether that's um, specifically aimed at that building. Or he's doing something I do occasionally. Because it's so ridiculously inaccurate. You fire at one building and you know you're going to get overshoots. And you start peppering like this kind of area here as well. So yes, yeah, smoke down here, unless they are just spotting rounds, but I don't think so. Atlas failing to chew through the thing there. So maybe two different fire missions? Maybe they weren't smoke after all, maybe they were just... But yeah, we're seeing some, uh, that's definitely an airburst. I mean, obviously. Uh, yeah, so I don't think, uh, don't think James managed to actually hit anything shooting at these guys over here. But, oh yep, yeah, that's uh, M240 team there. Put a little bit of suppression out, but that just means that they're going to have to move because Chap will inevitably just shoot the snot out of this position. Uh, okay, so yeah, like I said, I think what we're seeing here is Chap pivoting to the other objectives. Uh, these probably aren't smoke, then, they're probably actual just uh, mortars. I want to say more. I don't think they're big and nasty enough to be uh, 155s. It's Austin there getting a little bit of suppression. Uh, so, yeah, this is back to what I would do if I was attacking. I would pick a point and work off the cutoff artillery. Uh, hard to say whether he's going to try and push into Bravo, no, wrong one, uh, or he's going to focus on Charlie. I'd focus on Charlie because it's more shallow. Uh, and yeah, if we look at that, these guys here uh, pop smoke, this team here, uh, which would you were just watching, uh, they pop some smoke. go across uh, towards here so yep time to shuffle the QRF round I think uh, and then up here uh, we did get another casualty didn't we uh, in Roland Squad. This is probably my own bloody mortars Definitely. Yeah. Uh, did accept this as a possibility. Why did it have to be the guy with the RPG though? Oh, that was that sound was Roman. Not Roman. Atlas shooting stuff. Yeah. So hard to tell if uh, chap is at, still. St Stacking up here, these contacts, uh, these contact items are still persisting. Um, so not really entirely sure what's going on there. I said I did kind of, or I think I said back at the uh, the very beginning in the introduction, which I've 
only actually scripted out a couple of days ago, uh, that probably the worst thing that Chap could do to make life difficult is to attack all three objectives at the front at once, because I don't think I can really stop him in all of them. Uh, but it could be quite bloody for him. Which again is what we want. Um, oh yes, that is a point. Who saw is it's probably... Uh... Yep, Clockwork Rex again. That's so useful. Such a good position. Uh, and these guys are still a bit suppressed here. Uh, so, I might need to shuffle things around a little bit. Uh, yeah, right. So, I know we just adjusted these, but let's adjust them this way. And if we bring them in on a a line like that, that should fairly effectively counter RT uh, Chap's movement down here, which I now consider a lot more dangerous than his movement here. So we'll sort that out. That's only going to take a couple of minutes to fix. Um, two minutes, he should be in position by that. Let's. Uh, might have to run a risk here with Sir Sir. Can he get into this building? Yes, he can. Okay. You need to get back here then. Uh, just to keep, because I know Chap will have spotted him because he got some return fire, so it's uh, really important for him to keep moving. See, this is your fault because you went... Oh no, I put you on the roof. Yeah, right. I was going to say they went on the balcony and it was all their own fault. Uh, yeah, I, time to mount up the QRF again, I think. Uh, we'll give it another turn or so, though. I definitely need to run... Muck scam down this way. So I want to be able to shoot up those buildings. No, no, that was okay. Uh, give him that target arc there so he can. So he's got the gun facing the right direction. Shuffle Atlas that way uh, again. Target arc. Uh, so uh, they're going to be. Uh, they're getting over the suppression a bit. Try and take uh, Madari or Jack Volkert's buddy off hide there just to see if we can see things a little bit better. Uh, still should be some American pixel trapping over here. Uh, Rutang isn't seeing. He does have windows there, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, cool. That will do. Oh, there's uh, there's a lot of targets over there. Uh, but again, like don't want to just hit him as hard as possible. I want to make him think that, you know, it's like the whole boil the frog thing. I want him to 
keep kind of oh this is painful but it's easier than it was over at alpha so i'm going to keep pushing um, and and that way getting into a, a a more disadvantageous position um you guys yeah we'll leave you there i mean they were taking some pot shots and that means they probably are going to get some return fire from chap including from the vehicles but i also think i need to give chap something to shoot at so that he thinks it's going his way so yeah let's get that back 